Hello, I'm Mr. Honesty, and I am, you can see what I am, because I'm honest enough to come out and show you what I am. There's not enough honesty like that in the world these days. We live in a society where deceit is rampant, where trust is just a name on a bed. I hope to change that by telling the truth. I express myself through comedy. Sometimes people laugh. Why bankrupt your future? Waste time getting a college degree. Employers all across America are looking to hire assholes just like you right now. And I piss some people off. That toxic stew that you all spew pollutes the air that we all share. Do you get the idea? I don't want to smoke your cigarette! I think comedians serve as modern-day philosophers. I learned a lot from George Carlin. You know, whenever you're exposed to advertising in this country, you realize all over again that America's leading industry is still the manufacture, distribution, packaging, and marketing of bullshit. He's not with us anymore. Someone has to carry on the message. And I'm just cynical enough to do it. <laughs> Smell you, man. <laughs> Feel the consistency. <laughs> Bullshit is at the core of most business plans. Actually, fraud is at the core. Bullshit is the means by which they execute it. We don't really manufacture anything here anymore. When Carlin went counterculture, he set the world upside down by wearing jeans and a t-shirt when everybody else wore suits. Now everybody's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And I really hate suits. To me, the men's suit represents surrender, the ultimate capitulation to conformity. For most, it's an announcement to the world that you have lost your core values in pursuit of money. Look at these guys, layers of guys who think they are in charge. They've got no class. They've got no principles. They can't even think of a word that rhymes. You might have noticed, I don't wear a suit anymore. And I'm so much happier. I've regained my principles. When I'm in front of you, I'm the supermodel of nonconformity. I get to be spectacular. And once you get past all the prejudice, it's very liberating. I am an expert in bullshit. I know it. I understand it. And I've spent a career bringing it to you. Nice team training, but no brakes. <laughs> no airbags. <laughs> flat underbody. And super suspension for a memorable ride. <laughs> I think the bullshit will work less if more people learn how to recognize it. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect Why, I didn't you say like that. <laughs> Quiet! Get out of here! Bullshit will always be there. That's because enough people will buy it. Which means it works. Which means they will keep bringing it to you. Just what you've always wanted. Designed for a woman, but smells like a man. <laughs> I've joined one of the most discriminated groups in America. Gee. That sounds like a smart idea. I chop down trees, I wear high heels, suspendies, and a bra. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. <laughs> Some people in America like to talk about freedom. But those same people will be the first ones to try to take away my freedom. Fortunately, I live in California, where most people are very accepting and even encouraging. But then, I don't spend a lot of time in Bakersfield. And I sure as hell don't spend a lot of time in Alabama, where I'm illegal. When it comes to protecting other people's rights, they certainly aren't very civil. If you have to start your sentences with, I'm not a racist, but you might be a racist. Can you judge a book by its cover? Bet you can't. Thinking that you can is the core concept of what is called prejudice. I get called plenty of things.
Call me a complainer. Call me a rebel. Call me a nonconformist. I'm fine with that. Must be some sort of fact. I'm not okay with that. I'm not exactly sitting on the fence. I've made some bad rhymes at Trump's expense. But let me explain in case you're against. I think we're headed for a President Pence. That's not going to be good for someone like me. He wants to control where we all pee. Yeah, I tend to get political. I've watched as we've had corrupt, single-party Republican rule for as long as I've been voting. If I had said the same policies that I have back in the 1980s, uh, I'd be considered a moderate Republican. Yeah. You might have been deceived into thinking we have two political parties, but they all have the same people bribing them. They're called donors, and it's all about the money, honey. We have a political process like a game between the Harlem Globetrotters and the Washington Generals. One team is there to give token opposition, to make the team that is designated to win look good. And it's all about showmanship. It's professional wrestling. This is it, the American title. Everybody wants it. I've got it. There was a time long ago when the hippies taught us to question authority because the man doesn't have your best interests at heart. Those are the exact same people who are watching Fox News all day, polluting their brains with bullshit. I have not forgotten the lessons of my predecessors. War can cause death, destruction, atrocities, retaliation, economic and physical devastation, nuclear annihilation, and the possible extinction of life on Earth. This hot blonde can't compete with a network of hot blondes paid by guys in suits to sell you bullshit 24 hours a day. But I can try, and I'm going to do it by telling the truth. Mr. Honesty, 99 and 44 one hundredths pure.